Look at the map. This makes no sense. Europe is farther north, yet America freezes harder every winter. At first glance, the United States should be warmer. Most of the continental U.S. lies much farther south and closer to the equator than Europe. Logically, winter should be milder, but reality says otherwise. Every winter, New York is buried in snow, with temperatures dropping to minus 10 degrees. At the same latitude, Madrid rarely sees snow at all, and winter temperatures stay above zero. It gets even stranger. Paris sits far north of Toronto, yet Canada endures months of extreme cold that Europe never experiences. The explanation isn't latitude, it's the ocean. A powerful warm current called the Gulf Stream begins in the Caribbean, flows through the Gulf of Mexico, where water heats up to around 28 degrees Celsius, then rushes across the Atlantic toward Europe. This moving river of heat warms the air above it. Westerly winds spread that warmth across the continent, giving Europe its mild winters. That's why even Norway, at the same latitude as Alaska, can keep its coastline ice-free. The United States, however, gets no such advantage. Along the west coast, the cold California current cools the land even in summer. Meanwhile, massive pools of Arctic air form over Siberia each winter. When that freezing air surges south, it slams into Canada and spills into the central and eastern U.S., bringing blizzards, deep freezes, and sudden temperature crashes. So while Europe borrows warmth from the ocean, America faces winter head-on. That's why the map lies, but the climate doesn't.